sigues viva y tu vida sin mí es el crimen perfecto. Hello, good morning everybody. I'm Blas Rivera. Here we are, broadcasting from Santa Teresa, New Rio de Janeiro, very close to Corcovado. This is our fourth intention of an English-speaking podcast called Y Nunca Más Volvió and Never Returned. Today we'll play a chacarera, an ancient folk rhythm from Argentina. Its name? La Ridicula. I studied composition during the last century. I had a great teacher, Mr. Cesar Franquicena. He was a very important and well-known classical music composer. I really don't know if I was able to appreciate him at that time. But today, sincerely, I consider him a great maestro, honest, direct, loving and a very frank and straightforward person. Once he taught us something that we did know only by name, by ear, but just the fact of mentioning it made us feel like Germanic heroes. The sonata. The sonata was like saying cathedral or humanism or even galaxy or genesis. Those were terms for adults. We learned that sonata is a form, a kind of frame for writing a music, that it has three parts, one exposition, one development, and one re-exposition. But what I most liked was the epic, the way Don Cesar told us what to do with these three parts. First, you must introduce two themes, A and B. During the exposition, we have to show both of them, but only one will prevail, will triumph over the other. Hmm. They will engage in a duel to death during the development, like in the Colosseum, in the battlefield, until one of them wins after showing their skills, their flats and sharps, their little intervals. Then, at the end, the re-exposition. Both themes, A and B, are once again together to say goodbye, but now you must show who the winner is and the other theme matches the music as much as it can, as close as possible. That was the great battle of Sonata. Well, we worked on it the whole year, just bringing hundreds of intentions of Sonata to Don Cesar. Sonatinas, little sonatas, quasi sonatas, thematic fight exercise. One day I was so happy and proud with what I thought it was the real sonata. Theme A, theme B, development, a real fight. Master Cesar looked at the score, sit at the piano, started to read and played. He stopped for a moment, then back to the capo, he kept playing one motive, later the other one, he executed faster, then slower, stopped again for thinking, once again back to the Colosseum, I mean the development. I was exploding with emotion, I was so proud. Finally, I would have my number one sonata. Then, at the end of the class, he looked at me, honest, direct, and very frankly said to me, it's ridiculous. Wow, the world fell apart. This is ridiculous. How come you dare to compose a sonata out of folk music? It's ridiculous. Well, here you are. And as a tribute to Don Cesar, whatever my maestro might be, my very first sonata, La Ridicula.
la ridícula. Ok, this is it. Stay safe. I'll see you next week. Muchas gracias y hasta siempre.